two crops, similar outlook and similar taste. However, the growing conditions of the two plants are dissimilar. One is cultivated in normal, average temperatures. The other grows in wetlands. The other difference between the two crops is that while one crop has both its tuber and leaves eaten, the other has only the tuber ending on the dining table. Accounts of Ghana call Kokoyam Mankin and the Taro Brobe. The two are crops with striking morphological semblance. In the CSIR Crop Research Institute, the two crops are jointly bred by scientists who faced the task of arresting their decline, out of which three new varieties of cocoyam were developed. We set out to find out how we can get farmers to have the best of varieties in Ghana. The scientist pulls the reproductive part of the cocoyam plant and demonstrates how the plant is crossed for multiplication. After careful study of genes of each plant, they selected the types for crossing to produce enhanced variety. Like if you get it out and you open it, it has the male, the female, and then nature has also, so the top here is the male portion. And then the down here is the female portion. And nature has made sure that they are separated. So the science behind this is that it cannot marry itself. Nature has caused it that you can't marry yourself. You need to get some other plant elsewhere. So what we will do is that we will take the, the top as the male to a different plant and then bring the male also of another plant which we want its attribute to be in the next generation to come and then cross or marry this one. Taro also had downswings. Crop scientists pressed emergency buttons to rescue the taro from extinction. It became continental and also an international consent. And so a state of an emergency was declared on the crop that whatever possible that could be done to rescue the crop from extinction needs to be done. So Crop Research Institute, the major research stage, the major research organization in Ghana, we also did not relent on our efforts. The taro leaf blight neutralized photosynthesis in the plant as the foliage that takes in sunlight was whittled away. Photosynthesis denied, Taro lacked the oxygen crucial to existence. Taro is emerging stronger from the crisis thanks to the CSIR Crop Research Institute, which has developed four new varieties of the crop. The CSIR says it is waiting on further sponsorship to develop a large gene bank for cocoyam and taro to be accessed by farmers for multiplication in the field. Napoleon Atukito, GBC News. Kumasi.